Alright, so we're gonna do part two today. You already know what day it is. Let's get it. Alright. Number four now, we have the revolution. In 2014, Gerard and Amanda Miller murdered police officers in a Las Vegas pizza restaurant before covering their bodies in American Revolutionary War flags and a swastika. They then killed another local shopper before turning the guns on themselves when the police pinned them down with gunfire. Neighbors said that Miller also donned the costume of Slender Man when he walked around his apartment complex. Oh, really? He used to go around talking about murdering cops, killing as many as they could before they did away with themselves. Moving on now to number three, we have Walking what? Sam. This is a creepy Who? story that is said to trace its origins to the Lakota tribe of South Dakota. Never heard of they believe that Walking Sam is a suicide spirit, a seven foot tall man, lean with long. Well, all you depressed people now know what's causing you to go suicidal. Long arms and gaunt eyes, but I'm no not sorry. Knows, I am not. They say he drives his victims to hang themselves. Between December 2014 and May 2015, at least 103 people attempted to kill themselves at Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Nine adolescents did. Okay, depressed people. Are, I meant the attention seekers. The, you know, you know the ones, you guys know the ones, the attention seekers that you're just talking in the chat and everything is all normal and then someone decides to come in saying, I have, oh, I have no friends, life is a bitch, oh my glob, I'm so depressed, oh my glob, just let me die already. And you just have everyone say, no, please don't die, don't die, no, no, everything's fine. And then five minutes later, all of a sudden, they're still going on and on. And on the normal depressed people who don't do that. I'm sorry for what I said earlier, but for the attention seekers, I'm not sorry because you're just an attention she seeker. All right. Themselves. The tribal police reportedly removed four nooses from nearby trees, with some Damn. people claiming that they were actually brought there. Is this all a sick joke? Is it just a morbidly popular suicide spot? Or is there a link that people aren't quite seeing here? At number two now, guys. We... Why should Jeff the Killer be on number one or something? But I'm pretty sure, like, suicide's not a joke. I know that. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a little story someone made up that... That's because some people post stories and it's just like starts off saying uh, and today I have to tell you this or else it's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. I walked down, you know, like that. I think it's just like a little story someone made just to scare people. If it really did happen then uh, my condolences to people who kill themselves or they don't deserve it have Pope Lick. Now some of you may have heard me talk about this one in a previous video. The Pope Lick monster is said to be a goat-human hybrid that lives on top of a railway bridge. Isn't that just goat man? In Kentucky. They say he uses mind control to make people climb to the top of the bridge and then get hit by a passing train. Over the years though, people began to argue that this was more than an urban legend, that the story had an ever-increasing body count. There are two confirmed cases of people dying on or below the bridge in 1987 and again the year after. In 2016, a couple from Ohio went searching for the monster and were not able to get off the tracks in time when a train came barreling down towards them. The boyfriend was able to save himself, but his girlfriend was killed instantly. And finally, number one now, we have the intruder. One of the most famous creep- uh, I was hoping for like the rake or creepasters, Jeff the Killer or something like that. I was expecting one of those two. The re I only know two of these Creepbusters are on this list. Sunderman and Jeff the Killer. Uh, for the others, I don't know them. Never read them. I don't care about those ones. Except the Goldman one is really interesting. I might have a read with that one. Maybe. We'll see. Creepypastas out there is titled, Aren't You Glad You Didn't Turn On The Light? If you haven't read it, honestly, go and check it out. It's a good reminder about how scary things really can be in the dark. I won't spoil it, it for you if you haven't read it. What I can say, though, is something quite similar to the story happened in real life. In 2014, a 16-year-old girl from Cheshire in England said she received a text from an unknown number that simply said, I'm watching you. Like, like hell you are. Alright, boop boop. I'm watching you. Uh, yeah, okay. Think, 
I'm just gonna open my window here, throw this out there. Uh, I love my girlfriend, Haley. I love my brother and all that. But guess what? They're not gonna be talking to me for a while because I'm moving to Mexico. And my phone's broken after throwing it out there. I'm moving anywhere that's far from here. I'm watching you. <laughs> Yee! Later that night, the stalker told her he was going to hang himself outside of her first floor bedroom window. The girl was so terrified that she spent the night sleeping in her mother's room. During the night, she received a text from the stalker saying he was in the house. You are in the house. Sure, but okay. You are in the house. Yeah, okay. Let me just do the wrong thing real quick. Go kill yourself, you complete pathetic stalker. Yeet. Uh, yeet. And I just jump out the window. I'll probably kill myself. If there's someone in there already in the house, and I'm pretty sure that I can't get out, I'm just kill my, killing myself. Easily as that. Oh crap, I don't think I'm supposed to say suicide and kill and all that. Oh, YouTube is going to be mad at me for this one. Ooh, sorry about this. She didn't believe him, but she was still terrified. The next morning, she went into her room and noticed some of her shoe boxes under the bed were poking out a little bit. When she looked under the bed, she found her stalker was there asleep. Luckily, that gave her just enough time to go and get her mum and for the police to be called. All right, that was a bit of a bombshell to end on. That's all out of the way now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We're now going to go right into our comment segment to read some comments from you all. This one came from my dark web creepypastas video. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's where we ended here. I've done part one and two for you guys. Hopefully, you like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, and Oh, I said I would stop doing that. Oh, it's just a habit now. Um, so no, these creepypastas aren't true for those idiots who believe they are. Because there are some people out there who believe that this, like stories like this, creepypastas, Laughing Jack, Slenderman are real. But depends. Like, because with Slenderman, it's very, like, eh. Because, I lie to you not, I got a text from my brother sending me a picture of my nephew saying he, he is four years old. Mind you, four years old. He, he knows nothing about creepypasta. He drew the Slenderman symbol, the operator symbol from Marble Hornets, a round circle and an X in the middle, all over the couch. Like, how many was it? Three, four times he drew it there. And he said to his mom saying that it looks scary and wouldn't look at it. So things like that makes me wonder about Slenderman. But, I know, I know, before you comment down, I know Slenderman's not real, but it's like, why would a four-year-old draw the operator symbol? And don't tell me, because his friends drew it as well. You, you really believe, you, you're going to tell me that a bunch of other kids, from the same age as my nephew, are drawing a Slenderman symbol and saying that it's scary. Is that what you're telling me? Sure, bud. Sure. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if anyone believes that Creepypasta is real, you need some help. Leave this channel, unsubscribe, and buzz off. Oh, because it's not true, alright? That's like saying that Thanos is... That's like saying these guys are real and are coming. If guys and no, we're not doing that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Wham, ham, sham.